My name is Dwayne Mitchell. I work at the University of Florida, and I am the co-director of the Preston A. Wells Jr. Center for Brain Tumor Therapy. I began my career focused on the development of new treatments for adult brain tumors, and our work was led into a focus on pediatric brain cancers uh, through both personal and scientific uh, reasons. Uh, on the personal side, I had the opportunity to meet several families and children who had been affected with a diagnosis of a pediatric brain tumor and was struck by the clear and urgent need for the development of new treatment options for these children. It only takes really one encounter with a child who's been affected by uh, a brain tumor or really any other advanced cancer. Um, and when you see the, the bravery uh, that those children have and the resilience that they have to try to fight through their disease, it just compels you to want to find better therapeutic options for those children and their families. And as a scientist and as a researcher, it really motivates you to try to do all that you can to hopefully make a difference for the lives of these children. So we have made tremendous progress uh, in pediatric cancer research, but the development of new therapeutic options for some of the more resistant cancers, like malignant brain tumors, is an area that's still in need of accelerated development. So what we are doing in our research to try to tackle malignant brain tumors is to try to train a child's immune system to recognize a tumor as a foreign invader. We use a variety of approaches to really train the immune system to recognize what a tumor cell looks like and why it's different than a normal cell. And then the immune system is very effective if it's engaged appropriately at actually seeking out those cells and killing them and removing them from the body. Our research is really specifically directed at developing new treatment options that we hope will be more specific and less toxic and very effective in recognizing invasive brain tumor cells and leading to their destruction. Research that is focused on trying to understand how these tumors evolve is extraordinarily important if we're gonna to continue to advance treatment options for children with cancer. Funding from the Hyundai Hope on Wheels uh, organization is extremely important for initiating new areas of research uh, as we're trying to understand more effective ways of engaging the immune systems. And so the funding that will support that laboratory research will then feed forward into the next clinical trial options that we bring forward into a hospital setting and hopefully have even more improved outcomes for children that are battling brain cancer. One of the things that's uh, quite amazing about children that are battling cancer is despite everything that they are going through, both emotionally and physically, they almost uniformly still find a way to maintain their innocence and their joyous approaches to life. And they really just want to be normal kids. Uh, these families and their children are out fighting every single day for a better chance at survival. And our team of research researchers and physicians back here in the laboratories are trying to fight as hard as we can uh, to present those better options in the future.